this video we are going to use layer 7 API developer portal and API gateway with API plans and caching. On the developer portal we will have silver API plan and gold API plan. There we are going to create an application and we will retrieve API key and key secrets. On the gateway side we are going to use API key and key secret for the authentication. And we will specify a cache name on the gateway based on the API plan name. We will have 10 minutes and 5 minutes caches and in that way we are going to protect our backend services. On the gateway side we have the authentication section. We are using API key and key secret from the HTTP request header. Then we apply the API plans and traffic enforcement fragment. We are specifying the cache name and cache age. As default, we specify the 30 minutes cache. And using the plan ID, we retrieve the API plan name from the OTK database. And if the plan name is silver API plan, we specify the cache as 10 minutes cache. And if the plan is gold API plan, we specify the cache name as 5 minutes cache. Using the specified cache name and the cache age, we try to get the response from the cache here. And if we able to get the response from the cache, we also specify the cache name and the cache age in the response header. And if we cannot get the response from the cache, then we try to get the response from the backend system. In that example, I assume that I will receive a response like that. And then I put that response to the cache using the cache name and the cache age. And at the last section, we are building the JSON response. By using the request source and the request target parameters, we build a JSON response like that. On the developer portal, we have three API plans. I'm going to use the gold and silver API plans. And in the applications menu, I will create an application. From here, I will select the FX rates API and I have to specify an API plan. Now I have the API key and the key secret. Then I am sending the request. Now I get a response like that. And let's check the last updated date. And we see that we have five response headers here. And if I send the same request again, I get the same response. I can clarify that with the last updated. And now I have two additional HTTP responses. Now I understand that I get the response from the five minutes cache. And as next step, I will change the API plan. And now let's send the same response again. And at the first re response, I just see five HTTP response headers. And now I see that I get the response from the 10 minutes cache. 